Guys, welcome to day five of 100 most asked network engineer interview question and answer series. Guys, in this series, I am going to discuss 100 most asked network engineer interview question, right? And this is day five. So we had discussed 20 question before, 20 question before, and today I am going to discuss five more question. Okay? So let's begin. Let's begin. Let me check the next question. Let me check the next question. So question number 21. So 20 question is routers, router ID selection in OSPF. I had discussed this question yesterday. And question for the day is what is data encapsulation? Question for the day is what is data encapsulation? First question and VVI question, right? VVI question. Very, very important for network engineer interview if you are fresher. Right. What is data encapsulation? Data encapsulation is the process of adding extra information with actual data before being transmitted across the network. That means data encapsulation means adding extra information with actual data. Right. Remember OSI model at transport layer, right, TCP or UDP. Transport layer at TCP or UDP header. So this header will carry some information, right? This header will carry some information like source, source port, destination port. And at network layer, IP header will carry some information and network layer adds IP header and what we call it packet, right? The form of data at network layer is packet. The form of data at transport layer is segment. The form of data at data link layer is frame. Right. So what is encapsulation? Encapsulation means adding extra information with actual data. And what is decapsulation? Decapsulation means removing extra information from data. So while transmitting, while sending, while sending at transport layer, one header will add TCP or UDP and what we called it segment right at network layer ip header will add right ip header will be added and what we call them then we will call it packet right so form of data at network layer is packet packet means segment plus ip header frame means frame means packet plus ethernet header right so this is your first question for today what is data encapsulation hope you are getting my point. Data encapsulation means adding extra information with actual data. That's it. Okay. Now, question number two for today is what is VPN? What is VPN? So, guys, VPN stands for virtual private network. Virtual private network. A technology that allow you that allow you a secure tunnel to be created across a network such as internet. Understand what is VPN? Guys, suppose we have two sites. This is my site 1. This is my site 2. For connectivity between these two sites, we will con we will take connectivity from ISP, from ISP service provider. But service provider network is not safe, right? Not safe, right? There will be hacker, there will be attacker, right? On this network, this is public network. Fine. So, with the help of VPN, with the help of VPN, we can create one private network, virtual private network, right? We can create one virtual private network and that virtual private network is known as VPN, right? VPN, actually we will create one tunnel over here and one tunnel over here. With the help of that tunnel, we will create one virtual private network, right? So creating virtual private network over public network is known as VPN. Or you can say VPN is VPN is extended private network. Extended, actually what we are doing, we are extended, extending our private network over public network, right? We are extending our private network over public network, right? So... For example, a VPN allows you to stabilize a secure connection to a remote network over the internet, right? So let me check the next question. So VPN is nothing. VPN is virtual private network, right? We can create virtual private network over public network to secure our private network, to secure our private network. And next question is question number three is what describe NAT. What is NAT? 
explain that this is also vvi question right many time interviewers are asking this question explain nat right so guys nat stand for network address translation right network address translation it's clear with their name right with the name network address translation that means this protocol is translating network address this protocol is translating network address nat is a protocol or nat is a process that is used to make communication possible between private and public network actually we run this technology this process on our edge router what is the meaning of edge router edge router means one interface of a router is connected to my lan interface my private network and one interface of router is connected to my public network right so this this router is known as edge router is router on edge router we will run this technology what we call this interface inside interface this is my inside interface this is my outside interface right we had discussed this thing in theory so whenever nat router will receive any traffic on inside interface it will translate source ip it will translate source ip and whenever nat router will receive any traffic on outside interface it will translate destination ip it will translate destination ip okay so this is working of nat whenever you can see whenever nat router will receive traffic on inside interface nat will translate source ip whenever nat router will receive traffic on outside interface nat will translate destination ip okay so you have to keep in mind if you are preparing for network engineer interview this is very very important question for fresher let me check next question and next question is what is autonomous system what is autonomous system or what is as as stand for autonomous system an autonomous system is actually a domain domain means area area right or you can say autonomous system is a very large network or it is a group of network right with a single routing policy with a single routing policy all the router which belongs to that domain the routing policy for for all router will be same routing policy for all the router who will exist in that domain will be same right understand what is autonomous system autonomous system is a domain like a society right like a society suppose this is my this is my society right name of this society is ganpat society ganpat society right and the people who is living in this society the rule regulation water water supply bill right light bill everything will be same for all the people who is living in that society in this society yes yes right in the same way as is a domain where routing policy for for all router will be same routing policy right will be same for all the router who will exist in that domain in this domain okay clear so how we identify two people belongs to a same same society with the help of name of society right if i ask this person what is the name of your society they will say ganpat society i will ask to this question what is the name of your society they will say ganpat society then i came to know that these two people belongs to a same society in the same way autonomous system number use a unique autonomous system use a unique number as number as number each as is assigned a unique as number which which is a number that identify as right that identify as suppose we have one domain where multiple router are there three router which are connected together and autonomous system number of this domain is 100 so autonomous system number of this router is also 100 autonomous system number of this router is also 100 autonomous system number of this router is also 100 so autonomous system number for these three router are same that means routing policy for these three router will be same and a society can be controlled by a single person also and a multiple person also in the same way an autonomous system can be controlled by a single person also and a multiple person also so this is what is autonomous system 
let me check next question and last last question for the day 25 question number 25 explain flooding flooding so guys if the destination mac address is not found in the mac address table then switch forward the frame at all of its ports except the ports on which frame was received right why switch will do this flooding right to find exit interface of destination mac address of destination device to find exit interface of destination mac address or destination device so this is known as flooding suppose we have one switch and we have some computer which are connected to this switch suppose the mac address of this computer is a mac address of this computer is b mac address of this computer is c and switch maintain mac address table to forward traffic right so when this pc bill this computer will send traffic to pc2 pc b what will be the source mac a what will be the destination mac b this uh, this frame will hit on this interface of switch now switch will check destination mac address is b to to forward traffic to b mac address computer switch will look up their mac address table if this switch will not found any entry in their mac address table for b mac address then switch will flood this traffic then switch will out this frame from all out of all of its port except the ports on which it was received except this port right except this port to find exit interface of a computer whose mac address is b right so understand what is flooding flooding means whenever switch will not found whenever switch don't know the destination mac address whenever there will be no entry in their mac address table for a particular destination mac address then switch will forward that frame from all of its port except the port on which it was received and this is known as flooding this is known as flooding so so this is this is this is also vvi question okay this is also vvi question you have to keep in mind if you are preparing for network engineer interview right so that's all for today guys in next video we will discuss five more important question for network engineer interview okay so if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next in next video till then stay safe bye bye thanks for watching